with with guns, we servicing is something that should be looked at every three years. Um, I feel um, it varies a little bit on how much shooting you do as, as an individual. Also, it varies how wet has the gun got throughout a season. Um, some guys, if they're shooting their guns a lot, they need to get their guns checked every year, and especially after last season, which was in the UK was incredibly wet. Um, a lot of guns need to be checked over after that. Even it's just an inspection is a really sensible thing to do. Um, wood On English guns, you get issues like wood swelling. Uh, you get issues uh, such as uh, um, uh, rust building up within inside the locks. And also, you know, even on modern over and unders, there's always a certain amount of water that will come back through uh, the, the firing pins. And underneath the safe buttons, a prime, prime example where people find their safeties get sticky. Um, that's generally down to water getting it underneath there. Not all the components in guns are um, rust proof by any means. So uh, they're often hard and tough and fairly resilient to it, but water uh, does have a significant part to play uh, in causing issues. So when, when, you're, shoot, when you're, sh you're, you're shooting a gun, uh, people forget there's a small explosion in front of their faces. Um, and with that, um, there's a certain amount of residue that will go back through the action. There'll be a certain amount of primer residue and powder residue that will just gradually, even so it's a tight seal, when that cartridge expands and fires, it should seal it up. But you'll always get a certain amount to come back through and they'll go through the around the firing pins. Um, and some of that you just want to sort of check and make sure there's no muck that gets around there because that, that powder residue can cause, especially on damp cartridges, can cause issues with the firing pins maybe sticking. Um, and again, also, the firing pins are crucial to check, really crucial to check, because if they do stick either by uh, powder residue or by water, the, um, if the firing pins get stuck out, you know, you fire your gun, and then you open your gun, you put another cartridge in, you close your gun, you could have a firing pin stuck out, and it could accidentally make the gun go off because it's got a, uh, a firing pin stuck out. So as soon as the firing pin touches the, the face of the, fire, the, the, the primer, it could cause it to go off, and it has happened. It's a very, it doesn't happen. It's a very, very rare occurrence, but again, uh, that's why it's crucial to get your guns checked, especially after a wet, wet season. So now we're just going to grease up the ejectors and put these back in. We're just using a, a it's a white clear grease, just a general gun grease. We just. You don't want to put too much grease, it's just a gentle smear either side, otherwise you put loads of grease, it can actually do the opposite and track lots of dirt, but you need it reasonably well lubricated. Again a little bit on the little bit of grease just on the springs, the coil springs. I use it also just to make sure grease in a very small amount of oil, but just not too much. I don't want excess oil, I don't want the gun to be dripping. It's literally just acting as a little film, so just wiping a little excess off there. Just double checking here, make sure it's not too much free play on the side of the uh, dovetail uh, and on this Beretta. Um, Beretta from some of the later model guns actually put bigger dovetails in the action or, or, or in the monoblock. So the barrels now are all clean. Um, we're now going to start to strip the fore end down um, and then that part of the gun is done. We might have to come back to this to check the ejector timing at the end. 